That's how I make sure you can hear my voice. Ah, yeah, it goes this. Wanna be model that I met in Colorado? Said she love me, but a problem was she only loved the bottle. This chick is yours if you work in a liquor store. Her word ain't nothing to me, so what am I listening for? She's like, I try to hide it from you, man, you must be psychic. You know I wouldn't like it, she appeased herself behind it. Be a bad advice, it was just a fact of life. She would work a half a life against her mom and dad's advice. Nowadays she acting like everything in black and white. I'm like, if that's the price, that's too bad a sacrifice. Supposed to front and happen if she's trying to walk alone. I can't get my heart away till we're locking, locking doors. Yeah. suit by Jason Klobnick on Corner Cafe. So um, as a professor, uh, what do you do in your your courses to help the students to get the concepts that you're teaching? Because I'm sure Mm -hmm. that what you're teaching is kind of hard to grasp. Um, Gosh, that's that's a loaded question, too. There's there's a lot of things that um, that I do. I try to relate life experiences back to difficult topics. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Music theory is something that's difficult to grasp for some people. So knowing that in in advance, trying to find analogies, things that, um, that they can grasp, that they can relate to. Right. Um, There's there's also a term, the uh, second album that Jay's Ruckus released was called Suck Less. And I, well, I, I'm sorry. I, what was that name? What was the name of that again? It is suck less. Suck less. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yes. So there's mm-hmm. it, it, it. It may sound crude uh-huh. for some of the audience that are like, "Now, Jason, come on, that's not." <laughs> let me let me uh-huh. let me explain it, and, and I can do it very very quickly. And this is what I tell all of my students in college, mm-hmm. and the reason why this the album was named this: perfection is impossible. Mm. There right. has only been one person who has had perfection in the entirety of the universe, mm-hmm. and we cannot attain perfection. So perfection is impossible. Right. right. As, as an instructor, I want to see people suck less a little bit every day. Right. If, right. You, can make, if you can make your life improve just incrementally at a time, that's where we see improvement. Mm. Right. You're not going to be a music theory genius after a week in theory class or, right, even a semester right. or year. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be a Bible scholar with the first time that you read the Bible. It takes time. Yeah, right. that's true. If, but you will see growth one day at a time. Right. Yeah. So instead of, instead of trying to attain perfection and try to do it all at once, which as human beings we're, we're guilty of. Right. We think, we, we hear that one sermon, we've given that one offering, and now it should just all appear. Right. And mm-hmm. the Bible doesn't say that. God has never said that we it just because of that one thing. It's a process. Right. Exactly. It's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Right. right. If we can focus on making our life or our experience or even better, somebody else's life and their experience, if we can make it suck for them a little less, yeah, we're making life better for everybody along the way. Yeah. Mm. I love that I love concept. That. So yeah. instead of being a perfectionist, just tell the person or tell myself, well, mm-hmm. really just try and suck less. You know, that yeah, should there have been, you go. That should have been the theme of 2020. <laughs> 2020, you need to suck less. I'm telling you, seriously. That's hilarious. <laughs> exactly. And it, it, it's great for students because it's disarming. Yeah. Uh-huh. They're not used to having professors telling them to... <laughs> you know, they're probably tell- right. they're used to them telling them you're not good enough, you're 
a horrible person. You're not smart enough. Right. I'm, I'm taking that same concept and flipping it upside yeah. down. I love Again, it. I'm, I'm against the grain. Right. I love that. I that's, love that, too. Perfect. I'm going to use that in my, my life now. Uh, Jason, I'm gonna tell my sons, hey, yeah. you need to suck less today. You, know? <laughs> you need to suck less. Yeah. Hilarious. I do. I like it. I, yeah, I, I love, love it. it. I'm it's actually great. gonna truly use it. No. It's uh, um. No, I can explain it like Jason. It's but... <laughs> funny, it, but it's also true. It's true to life. And it, it really is. It's true to life, and it eases mm-hmm. up on the tension. It does, it, especially if you yeah. can explain it <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the way Jason yeah. did it. Well, yeah, the way Jason <laughs> did it is like totally <laughs> I was profound. Like, you know what? After he explained, it, I was like, you know what? I do suck. You know. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> and, that's, and that's part of the reason why we wanted to use that for our band's album name is, is now we have, I mean, we have T-shirts and hats and hoodies that literally say suck less. And whenever I wear those out in public, it's a conversation starter. Because right. Because like, yeah, that's exactly right. What, right. what, what does it mean? Right. right. Then you got a conversation. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's perfect. Love it. Love it. Okay. We're going to go to a break. Mm-hmm. We'll be back, though, with more with Jason Klavnik. Stay tuned.